G'day viewers, a little while ago when a judge ruled that YouTube had to hand across all the viewing logs for YouTube to Viacom, a lot of people got upset, and rightly so, and a lot of people expected me to speak out on it. Now I was angry about it, but I let it go because a lot of people were saying what needed to be said, and I didn't think there was anything more for me to say. But, more and more evidence is coming out that the entertainment companies, the telecommunication companies, the cable companies, the ISPs, and the politicians they've bought and paid for are going out of their way to completely fuck the internet. Every now and then, someone will pop up and go, Oh, Viacom, they're just defending their rights. Shut the fuck up, okay? Viacom are evil, lying scumbags like all of those corporations. You know when I'd cut the big movie companies, TV companies, and record companies a break? When they played fair. But they're not playing fair. Here's what they're doing. They're saying in court they shouldn't even have to prove that you were downloading, sharing, pirating illegal material. It's just, if they say so, that should be good enough. They're actually on record as saying it's too hard for them to prove it, so they shouldn't have to. Fuck that. Their methods of tracing infringing material are so bad and so inaccurate they've been caught out multiple times putting false DMCA notices to people on YouTube. And I'm not even talking about fair use when people took a little bit to comment on or review or whatever. I'm talking about people who produce wholly original material get DMCA notices from Viacom particularly, but other companies as well. They do this when they are just wrong. And possibly the worst example I've ever heard of, they're always attacking universities because they have big bandwidth and those damn students stealing stuff. In a recent case, they traced an IP address they said was downloading the latest Indiana Jones movie and they said that student had to be cut off. Well, the IP address was traced. It was a fax machine. Yes, those demon fax machines are watching movies now. And the things they want to do to us in the name of protecting their copyright. They've had their paid for politicians say, oh, it should be legal to remotely attack a computer and destroy it. On suspicion. They've been proven time and time again to be wrong when they accuse someone. But they think they should be able to destroy your computer with a virus if they think you're engaging in illegal activity. Wow. Good one, guys. And now, apparently, ISPs in the UK are lining up to side with the entertainment companies for a rule that says if you're accused three times of copyright infringement, they cut you off from the internet. You're not allowed to have internet if you're accused three times. Remember, they don't think they have to prove it. They just have to say three times you were downloading copyright material. And then your internet is gone. I agree with the writer Corey Doctorow, who said, make it a two-way street. If they want a three strikes and out rule, make it apply to them as well. If they file three false claims, they're out. No internet for them, and they're never allowed to file another claim of copyright infringement. Maybe then they take some fucking responsibility for what they do. By the way, all you evil motherfuckers who want to talk about strangling the internet in the name of security or property rights or protecting the children, shut the fuck up!